Hey, welcome back you beautiful people. I'm out here in Bentonville in Arkansas and I'm going to hopefully teach you on how to conquer your fears to ride wall rides and hopefully eliminate some of these issues that these beautiful people have been having. Perfect! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Okay, whoa, 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 before we get too carried away and I start doing a, a video just about hitting this type of wall ride, because this is quite difficult, let's bring it down a notch or two, right? Because there's a simpler one just around the corner. Yes, now he has a perfect example of a wall ride above a berm. Now, if you're feeling intimidated, you're always going to be taking the berm. But every time you come to this sort of obstacle, you've always wished, I wish I could get up there and ride it like a wall ride. Well, today I'm going to try and help you stick to that wall ride like a gecko. And it all starts with step number one out of four. Step number one is right here. Before you even tackle the wall, you want to come in with confidence, you want to come in with a little bit of speed, you don't want to go too slow into it because that's when you get onto the wall and you slide down the wall because you haven't got enough speed to kind of lean the bike over. Talk about leaning the bike over, step number two is over here. Number two, it's all about entering the wall now. Now this is where you want to be confident. You don't want to quickly stand the bike up because that's where all those crashes come from, where the front wheel just slides down the wall and you kind of go flat pancake and slide down the wall. Now you know you've got the speed, you've got the confidence, you enter the wall. This is where you kind of use the wall like a berm. You lean the bike over, keep your level pedals. You don't want to drop a pedal, especially the inside or the out, just keep them level. Looking ahead, looking around the wall at your exit. Now, third, now this is where you're at the top, the peak of your transition on the wall right. Again, don't get too, too carried away or don't let your confidence drift either because if you kind of get a little bit less confident, you're gonna stand the bike up because you don't wanna be leaning too much. And that again, you can slide down the wall and you'll be at the highest point and it's gonna be a long way to fall. You want to keep that riding position. Also, you don't want to go too high and lose the front wheel out the top of the berm because I've seen that happen and you don't want that. You want to stick in the middle of the wall ride. Not too high, but not too low. Number four is the exit. Yes, number four is your exit. Now, this is where you're focusing on where you're going to be exiting the wall. Now, you want to have a perfect transition on the wall. A bit like a rainbow, so you're going to have a descending point. Now, you don't want to be keeping high when, you're when your momentum starts to slow down because if it does, that's when you kind of start to sit up the bike. You're standing it up and that's when you lose the front and you slide down. It can happen wherever on the wall. You've got to be careful. Now, when you're coming to the end, this is where you let the bike kind of roll down. Let the bike just fall down the wall and you look at your exit and carry on out. The key things you want to take away from this video is you want to come in with, a, with confidence, making sure that you can actually ride the wall and not just stand the bike up because that happens quite a lot when you lose confidence. Next one is speed. You don't want to come in too slow. More speed the better because that means you can actually rail the the wall itself. The next one is you want to have a nice rainbow arch on the wall. You don't want to come in too early and end up coming out too late out of the wall, right? And also you don't want to come in too late and exit right out the top because that's never good. The next one is your exit. You want to make sure that when you start to lose momentum, you're going to start arcing down the wall ride because if you don't, that's when the bike kind of stands up and you lose grip on the wall and you will slide out. So there we have it. How to wall ride in a few quick and easy steps. Now, the best thing is you start off small. There's a number of different wall rides out there on the trail, a bit like that one where you have to jump into it and slap it and then use that momentum when you slap to pop off back into another transition. This one right behind me is the perfect one to learn that wall ride skill on. You come in, you got a nice rainbow effect, and then you drop down when your momentum starts to end. Hopefully this video has helped you out to understand how to ride wall rides. If you're still struggling, let us know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to uh, type a way to help out on some points that I kind of missed. Hopefully I haven't. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.